Hey everyone, welcome Boosty Tutor. I'm Brian, and today we've got yet another product. Yes, another one in these unprecedented times. So, what we got here, got ourselves a box of Jumpstart. So, what this is, it's a brand new set that has new cards and reprints, and it's a very, it's it's good intentioned for, it's like for newer players. What it is, there's 24 packs in there. The boosters each have 20 cards in them, and they all have like a theme to them, and then a bunch of lands. So basically like, let's say you have like a goblin pack, or a dogs pack, or I think you might be able to get like an all mythic pack or something, I don't know. But you take two packs, you put them together, that makes a 40 card deck, and you can just play it right there. So a fun idea, a fun idea for like newer players and stuff, and just like have some fun, like, you know, oh, waiting for my round to end, let's just grab a couple packs, make a deck, and play for a little bit. But... Where are you gonna do that, right? Like, I just, I don't, I'm not a fan of this product right now. Maybe uh, later on it'd be fine, but right now it's just like, why bother? Why, this? you're sitting out to die. So let's just open up, see if there's something redeeming out of it. And let's see if this jump starts my heart. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got our box and a little a few goodies. We got the buy a box promo, Scholar of the Lost Trove. Which is a very nice uh, commander card, I think. Seven mana for a 5 5 flyer, and you get to just get a free instant sorcerer artifact card from your graveyard. Like, awesome. Nice. Uh, we got a promo pack here. We'll save that for the end, just in case this box doesn't quite pan out. But let's see what we got here. Ah, all right. 24 packs. 20 cards each pack, some of them land, but they're also the special lands, which can go for a bit. So, first pack, let's see. It tells you what the theme is right off the bat, so we'll know if we're in for a good one or not. Like we get dogs, probably not good. Okay, archeology, span I have no idea. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got Sharding Sphinx, <laughs> Sharding. Vidalcan Archmage, Buried Ruin, Hedron Archive, Juggernaut, Meteor Golem, Thirst for Knowledge, Aether Spellbomb, Statue, Arco Archaeomender, two of those, Prismite, Lightning Core. Okay, okay, we got these lands. They're like kind of dual lands. They, um, as there's Battlefield, choose a color other than blue, and then you can tap it for blue or one of the other colors. So, pretty cool. And then the special lands are, I think, this one right here. Let me see. Yeah, so it should be this one. Um, doesn't really have a way to tell you, I guess, because it's these are like in the 200s, and this one is number 49. Like the little art is different. All right, so that was disappointing. <laughs> so we got plus one, so I'm guessing counters. Let's see what we got here. We got, oh, Branching Evolution. I think that's one actually worth something. If one or more plus one, plus one counters we put on a creature, you control twice that many plus one, plus one counters upon put on that creature instead. It only costs three. Pretty good enchantment. Champion of Lambholt. Uh, Invigorating Surge, that's from M21. Lots of M21 there. Um, okay, more M21. Uh, Arbor Arment. See, there's another land. And then, oh, that's a, that's a cool art. Who is that? Elena Danner? Okay. Sweet. So one card I think is actually worth something. I got some rares there and the land. Let me take this one out. Got the land and our two rares. I got one pack. The one I got, it had one rare. So you can get double rares apparently, which is nice. You probably should get double rares most of the time. And to make it worth the value, especially if you're gonna fill a bunch of bulky ones. Oh, oops, it says dinosaurs like this. Maybe you can get the hexproof one, but I doubt it. Carnage Tyrant. You can get Galta. That's a good annoying ass card. And oh see, one rare. Okay. I don't know if there's any uncommons beside or commons besides these that are oh new to the set. So we got here a land that has a bunch of dinosaurs on it. It's all the same artist. That's cool. I like those dinosaurs on there. I'm sure, if someone has a dino deck, they'll want all those. 
Feathered friends, I'm going to guess birds. Maybe angels, angels have feathers. Well, let's see. All right, here we go. And Steel Plume Marshall, five mana for three, three flying. When it attacks or other creatures you control with flying, get plus two, plus two on the turn. So it's attacking, it's a five, five, and all your other flyers get plus two, plus two. That's pretty good. And then, um, okay, we've got the Gaggle Master, bunch of M21 stuff. That's what I don't like about this set. Lots of M21 stuff. Like, that set just came out. Why are you reprinting stuff from it already? We got the land, uh, those lands don't matter. And then, oh, oh, look at that. Birdie with all little babies in the nest. Don't leave them alone. Planes are wide open. All right, well read, okay. I think this one you can get a pretty good blue mythic guy, like Brainiac or something, I forgot his name. Let's see, let's see. Nope, we got Archaeologist, Archaeologist, and Read the Ruins, gross, all right. Bunch of M21 stuff again. Got the aisle and, oh, that's cool. Books everywhere as an island, I like that, I like that. All right, let's keep going. Rogues, that can't be any good. Like, <laughs> really? When have rogues mattered that much? Besides the M21, is it gonna be M21 rare? Please don't be, please don't be. Oh, Gonti, didn't know that was a rogue. There it is, M21 rare, knew it, all right. Got Ona's Blackguard. And, eh, that's an okay line. The one everyone wants is the, of course, um, Phyrexian one. Oh my gosh, I want this open. All right, well read again. Okay, maybe we can get the Mythic this time and not the same exact rares. We'll see, we'll see. All right, here we go. Nope. Or most, is that what it is? Archive Keeper, six mana for five, five flying. If you would draw a card while your library has no cards in it, instead put five one, one counters on it. Pay one blue, blue, discard three cards from your, with different names, draw five cards. That's a great limited card. Can't mill yourself, it just keeps getting bigger. But then if it dies, you're pretty much dead. Interesting. And that's the only rare, okay. See, these really need two rares, all of them. This really should be double masters. Another book. All right, keep going. One good card so far, not worth it. Ugh, more rogues. Gonti again. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> yep, I was like, there's only rogues, really. What the rogues are there for black? That would be worth it. And those ones barely even are. All right. <laughs> Elves, okay, I love me some elves. Crater Hoof, I think is in this, thank God. <laughs> is, no, I doubt, I was gonna say, um, the land, what was that, Cavern of Souls, but I don't think that's an elves thing. Oh, thank God. Okay, Crater Hoof, okay, we got something. And Archdruid, nice, not worth anything, but a very good card for elves. Man, elves, you get elves, that's gotta be good, right? What is that, okay, and, eh, it's an interesting land. Not very elvy to me, but. Elves are more arrows than spears, but whatever, whatever. Okay, Crater Hoof, nice. Heavily armored, I think this is equipment based. Any swords in the set? I don't know. Probably not, but that'd be sweet. All right, love me some swords. Ugh, okay, and Crusade, which is like, was like $5, because it's good in Commander. It's dumb in Commander, I mean, five mana. When a creature ends a battlefield under control, put a one-one counter on each creature you control. If you go wide, oh, gross. And then, oh, that's the only rare, okay. And, oh, that, okay, I like that. That's pretty sweet. Reflection of the planes and a shield, nice. This, what I like about these lands are, they're very cool ideas for the theme. Like, oh, okay, that's, that, the theme really helps with the, uh, the art on it. Spirits, like you actually get creative with some lands instead of just like, I don't know. There's a cup in the water. It's an island. Deal with it. Spirits. Shack. Shacklegeist. M21, of course. And gross. Get out of here. Get out of here. And eh, that's okay. That's okay. I guess, yeah, there are kind of spirits on there. It just kind of looks like, like someone. <laughs> 
for the paintbrush. No offense, no offense, but. Wizards, here we go. And it's the namesake of the company. It has to be some good stuff in here, right? All right, Wizards. It's blue in case you didn't know. Riptide Laboratory, okay, that's not bad. I don't think that's been reprinted in forever. Okay. And what's the wizard land look like? What do you think? Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. That could just easily be any old island card. Plus one again. Okay, do you think the Cathar, I don't know, that Crusade could also be in this? That would suck. Sorry, but that would be kind of lame to like, this one goes in this one and this one. Oh, another branching evolution. Okay, sweet. And of course that land again. Okay, so lands don't change. They're all the same. I wonder how many actual themes there are. Probably like, I think they, there's 20 or something maybe? Maybe 12? I don't know. Oh, what was this? This is plus one again. Okay. Uh, that guy. And that's it. Eh. I thought that card was being so good and it just did not do as much as I thought it would. Ugh. Oh my god, why are these packs so hard to open? Okay, there we go. And spooky. That's dumb. I love it. Uh, this is called spooky. Guessing a lot of, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> a lot of crap. Harvester of Souls. Uh, Scythe, I love Scythe Unlimited, but I don't want to open it in this. And is this the Phyrexian land? No, it's graveyards. Okay, I mean, they've done that before, haven't they? That's nothing new. Ugh, dogs, no thank you. It's just gonna be this card. Like, what other dogs are there? Unless there's a new dog, I don't think there is, so. Here comes Pack Theater, a card that's bulk already, and they have a promo of it in your bundles. Pack Leader, look at that, great. Jeez. Get out of here. And, oh, okay. The land's worth it, at least. <laughs> Lightning, okay, all red, I love this already. Lightning Bolt, is this reprint in there? Probably not, should be, should be. All right, here we go. Lightning Phoenix, what does this do? 2-2, two, two, so if you're haste, current block at the beginning of your end step, if an opponent was dealt three more damage this stream, you may pay one if you do return it from the graveyard to the battlefield. And it's fine. That's fine. And that's it. No lightning bolts. There it is, lightning bolt. Of course it's gonna be in there. And oh, I wanna see what this land looks like. Alright. That's pretty sweet. Okay, I gotta admit. That one's awesome. Good job on that one. It's like a freaking Tron mountain. And not Tron as in Magic the Gathering. Well, red again. Is there anything good in this? Because I haven't opened anything good yet. All right, here we go. Well, red. Got that again. And that's it. Okay. And the books. Of course, the books. Always the books. All right, six more packs. We're two-thirds through this. Okay. Be something new. Reanimated. I love reanimate decks. I think you can get actual reanimate. Don't really want reanimate, but let's see. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Rise of the Dark Realms. That's a nice card. That's an awesome. Let's see, let's see what it does. Since it's a mythic from an older set. Well, not older, but. Nine mana. Put all creature cards from all graveyards on the battlefield under your control. It's so good. So great for commander. Like you're like, nine mana. That's way too much, but who cares? For commander, exactly what you want to do. And what is, if it's not graveyards, what's this land? Oh, okay, now see, that's how you do it. That's awesome. All right, wizards again. This could be fun playing. I just never will get to play it, which sucks. All right, I, I guess that's a wizard. I didn't know that, Tolerand, cool. <laughs> Think of it more as a merfolk or just an interesting card. And about the tower, tower, okay. 
See what I mean? I don't know how much these packs are. Those are like eight bucks or something. Ugh. Feathered friends again. That's just gonna hurt. Like you get a tall ring. I'm like, cool. That card's been reprinted a ton of times. All right, Angel? No, still, still Plume again. So Angels must not be in this, let's see. Yeah, no. Angels probably have their own deck. Wait, I mean, it's technically, I guess it's a friend of the feather. They do flock together. All right. Spell casting, okay, finally something new. I guess we did just get reanimate, but still. I feel like we've seen feathered friends and well read a lot. All right, here we go, spell casting. Red, I have no idea, let's see. Charmbreaker Devil, seriously, seriously? Dual caster mage, that's like, when it was a promo for a judge, it was like, oh, that's cool, but it's been reprinted and it's jank. No one wants it. All right, at least, at least let's see what the land is. It's gotta be something good. That's yeah, okay. I mean, it's cool, but eh. I like think the other one was better, the lightning one. All right, we need a Phyrexian and we need angels, angel or angel. Devilish, I don't want devilish. I opened this one already and got the new card from it, which apparently did go up, so that's good at least. But I'll probably just get like Charmbreaker Devil again, who knows? Okay, it's the one that went up, so that's good. Got some value there. And I forgot what the land looked like. Let's see. And oh, two, gross. Okay, that's pretty cool, nice. I don't think I, I knew about the lands before, so last pack, let's get Phyrexian or some kind of special all mythic one or something. I don't know. Let's not get Feather Friends or, again. Vampires. Interesting. <laughs> no Phyrexian, sadly. That's the land everyone wants. Okay, something good. There you go, Exquisite Blood, nice, okay. God, that card hasn't been reprinted forever. If ever, I think, so we got that. Say, okay, I mean, that's, that's a vampire. <laughs> All right, here we go, and the land. And that's not a vampire, it's a horror. Interesting, I like that little vampire castle, little Transylvania vibe going on there. All right, there you go. So yeah, that's, that's a product, that's a product. I can believe I forgot, promo pack. <laughs> I was cleaning it up and I saw it right there, I was like, oh yeah, duh. All right, so Temple of Triumph, gross. Eliminate. Nickel Bolas, look at that. Last promo pack, we got a foil one, now we got a regular one, nice. All right, oh, oh, well, you know what? Go ahead, have at it. <laughs> All right, boom. All right, there we go. So there is some value in there at least, right? Right, we got some value cards in there. But yeah, like, just not a fan of this. Maybe it's fun to play. I'll probably never know. I mean, will any of us really know? Uh, also, no foil, so that's like my favorite thing. And just, uh, there's a lot of bulk in these cards sometimes. Sometimes the pack can be really good, sometimes the total whiff. And I don't know, it's just, it's just the wrong time. It's, like, it's the raw, right product. Like it could be a lot of fun for new players, but at the wrong time, cause you can't open this anywhere. Like you can't go to game stores and play this. Uh, it's not really suitable for online really. Like you can do it, but that's not what it's intended for. It's intended to, Hey, you ever played Magic before? Hey, just grab two packs, let's play. Not gonna happen. So maybe you should've just waited on this one. And then next month we got Double Masters coming up. Like, slow down, Watsy, slow down. I know Commander just got delayed, so at least there's a little relief for a waltz there, but whoo, whoo, all right. Uh, if you wanna follow me on Twitter, I'm not really on Twitter <laughs> anymore, cause yeah, just, Stay away from there. Just garbage fire going on there. But you can follow me on there. Sometimes I post things. Sometimes I check it once in a while. But I am on Twitch now. So twitch.tv slash booster tutor. Uh, I do drafts almost exclusively. Uh, just Sundays at 12, I definitely do it. But then I'm just random time. So be sure to follow and get notifications when I do that. It's always fun. It's always fun. Just listen to some music, play some drafts. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Hope you're all doing great out there. Hope you're getting by. And oh, yeah, so good luck. See you next draft. 
This program brought to you by viewers like you.